So May is when the normies come in after, after the course begins, basically we have uh, a cycle low coming into the middle of the course. And then we're basically getting everybody in the course ready for when like mass market comes in is pretty much what we're trying to do here. Um, but, but I, but I would say, you know, one really good thing to, to never stop DC into is probably not even probably it's crypto mindset quarter to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you can dump your profits on us, that's for sure. Definitely, man. And many a people have uh, have uh, paid with crypto for the course and dumped it at, <laughs> at the tops and stuff. So, well, yeah, definitely. I'll, I'll literally show you guys on the chart, you know, kind of <clears throat> the strategy that you guys can do here for basically the next two weeks if you really want to be a little degenerate about it and really, you know, get the most bang for your buck on the discount. So, I'll, I'll first jump into this. Is there anything you want to mention about the course as we're looking at the uh, place where you can put your email address in and sign up so that on Friday when it comes live, you'll be able to uh, get in right away? Yeah, basically, you, got, you guys have five days to get your email address in here and get ready because this thing's launching. So, um, yeah, April 21st, we go live at midnight, the, the, the day over. We're going to stay up and launch it. From there, um, you'll, you'll be able to get into the course. You have five days to get in, and it closes on Tuesday, the 26th at midnight Tuesday. Pacific Standard Time. Yeah, the 25th. Oh, the 25th, my bad. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you're good. So, yeah, I mean, most people, there, there's always like a handful of people who don't put their name on the email list and they don't click to sign up for free. And then when the course becomes live, since they didn't get any emails telling them the course was live, then they missed that five day period. And then they come back, you know, at the beginning of uh, the next month and say, hey, can I get in? And the answer is no, sorry. Um, so get in during that five day period and make sure to put your best email address here. Um, just before the show, I looked at how many people who have never taken the crypto mindset course um, have basically signed up for the waiting list. And we have 451 people who have never taken the crypto mindset course before, who have put their best email address in here, click to sign up and are looking forward to the next crypto mindset course. So that's very good in terms of, you know, the amount of people who are really hungry to learn about crypto. And I would say if there's that many people hungry to learn about crypto, the amount of people uh, that we've helped in the past through our products and services has been 10,000 plus people in the past. So we know a lot of you guys are returning from especially, you know, uh, the Q2 2022, Q3 2022, and Q4 Q1 2022 courses, right? So a lot of you guys are uh, sitting pretty, you know, having dollar cost average very well and, uh, you know, also bought at good prices. So things are looking good. Let's all jump in here and have a great time going into uh, Q2. And going into, I'll throw that link in the chat here in a second, but going into the current 60-day cycle and the strategy of how you can basically um, get the most discount. So we basically give you guys a 10% minimum discount. Um, we might increase it to 15%. We're still considering, but basically we're going to give you guys a solid discount on the course if you pay in crypto, right? So the course itself is $9.97, right? Um, One-time payment. And uh, we let's say we get that 10% discount just to make the numbers easy, right? basically you get uh, about $100 off the course right there. So that brings it down to about $8.97 per person, right? And then if you've been in the Citadel for one month or longer, you've renewed once or more, then you get a $50 discount for every month you've been in the Citadel. So let's say you were in the Citadel for two months, two renewals, right? And then you got $100 off there. Now the course for you, right, is uh, $7.97, right? And then, uh, you know, that's not too bad. And if you basically use the Ethereum or Bitcoin um, or whatever it was that you made profits on, right, uh, to dump into a 60 day cycle low, then you probably saved even more than that. Um, but if you look here, right, on the chart and we look at where we are in the current 60 day cycle, uh, this is what we basically are expecting. Right now, we have a high for the current 60 day cycle on day 35. But with most cycles that are bullish up into the right with a high past day 30, which was here on April 9th, we usually have a high um, between day 45, which would be at earliest there on April 24th, Monday. So, right, we have about, that'd give us about eight more days of upside, right, before 
um, we come down and interesting that that April 24th is right in the middle, right, of our enrollment period or launch period for the Crypto Mindset Q2 course. So going into there, right, you should already be in profit, which would be good. And we may even go as high here as about day 55 before we come down, which would be early May. But the reason why we put the course, right, um, we're starting the webinars around May 6th uh, and 7th, right, um, which would be a few days going into the cycle low. Then basically once we begin webinars, right, maybe on day 65 of the cycle, because after we get such a bullish, right, translated cycle, we often pull back a little bit more uh, in terms of time um, than just 60 days. So if we go 65 or even up to 70 days before we get a low, that will mean right in the middle of all the live webinars that we'll be doing with you guys, we'll be getting discounts on prices uh, on altcoins that we'll be looking at, at Ethereum itself. Um, so getting in any last minute buys before the, the real pump, because I think this move here into the end of April, we might hit maybe at highest about $36,000 Bitcoin, right? Plus or minus $2,000 on that. And so right around that area we can get, but where we're going right over the course of uh, Q2 and maybe even a little bit into Q3, right, is going up towards this $48,000 level. Now I know when we were down here, you know, in terms of below 25K, a lot of people didn't think we could get back into the mid 30Ks. And now that we're getting towards the mid 30Ks, I think a lot of people don't believe we can get to the high 40Ks. Um, so yeah, I think we're kind of in that right position right now where impossible, um, Charlie. Crypto's impossible. It, it's a, crypto's in crypto's mm -hmm. is doomed never to pump again. You know, it's just, it's, <laughs> it's, it's over, man. That's the sun is set, you know, the Holy Roman empire never to see again, you know? Well, you know, I go out on a limb once every bull market and I'm two for two so far in terms of saying after Bitcoin beats a certain price, the bear market is over. And I put that line in the sand right here in January at $21,473 Bitcoin. And uh, I don't know, man, it looks like I, I got that two for two going there. It's pretty good. Yes, sir. <laughs> I always leave that on the chart there because, you know, people forget those things. And uh, it's one of these things where, you know, there's a probability that we could go both ways, but once you choose basically a certain way, the price has obviously done very well. So um, yeah, we're, we're going towards it, baby, the so magnet is uh is being uh pulled up that way so if we were to hit that maybe that 44 or forty eight thousand dollar btc price that would almost put bitcoin at a trillion dollars itself almost that's nice so let's do a little uh market cap math because um we do also have well I, we'll look at bitcoin dominance because actually bitcoin dominance might be one of the most sexy charts today but before we do that let's do a little market cap math so can you do that math for us on Bitcoin? And then we'll also take a look at total market cap. Yeah. So at 50, so when Bitcoin hits $56,000, it, it, no, I'm sorry, $50,000, it's a trillion dollars. So if we're at 48, let's just call it a trillion dollars for BTC at 48,000. Okay. Or just under. Or just, it's just a, like no, it's a, it's, it's a little, it's a little. Yeah. It's, it's, it's basically, it's basically like 900 billion and some change basically mm. at that point.